Hey, welcome back to the channel. We got this old girl cleaned up on the outside some last week. I put some sea foam in the engine. We let it idle. Today I'm going to change that oil. We'll see how she sounds. She has a little tick. Tick will either go away or it won't. Uh, we're going to send it if it don't. It don't matter. Um, I'm also going to put a stereo in it uh, with a backup camera. You cannot see anything backing this fan up. Nothing. So that's a necessity. We're gonna get it cleaned up and hopefully I'll be able to start using this thing real soon. The weather has been really nice, but, uh, and currently it's 58, I think out, but tonight they're calling for a winter storm warning uh, in my area. So I wanna get all this done today so I can work on something inside and not outside this week. So anyways, let's get to work. All right, I've already got under here and broken this loose. Um, Jiffy Lube put it on with an impact or whoever did it because it's super tight, way tighter than it needs to be. Y'all curious to see if this oil's got glitter in it? <laughs> yeah, I am. Well, it looks okay. It ain't shiny, so no bearing material. Yeah. I mean, it definitely do a oil change, but it ain't bad. Let's watch it till the towards the end. Sometimes you get that uh, bearing material then, but I believe we're going to be all right on bearings. You can tell a lot by oil when you're draining it. Viscosity was definitely still there. You can smell the sea foam that I put in it, but no big deal. Yeah, I think it's gonna be. I think the bearings are fine, so I'm gonna let her drain on out. I'm gonna go ahead and change that oil filter while I'm right here, and yeah, this ain't bad. Get some oil in it, see what it sounds like. No matter what, like I said, we're gonna send it, so. Well, I poured the oil back into the containers and it only, it only filled up three and just a barely any at all in that one. So this thing has been running on like three quarts of oil. So it's full now. Um, I checked the level on it when I got it, but it, the dipstick is like crazy long and hard to get in and out and whatever. So... I'm gonna look at it again, but I don't know. We'll just have to keep an eye on it and see if it, uh, it's where it's losing it because it's definitely not wet underneath, so it's gotta be burning it. That's the only other way it could go, I guess. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna get a key. We'll start it up and see if the ticking's gone. Well, let's, uh, let's see what she sounds like. Uh, I can't see. There we go. Waiting on the oil pressure to come back. There we go, we got oil pressure again. I'm gonna let her warm up 
and then we'll rev her up and see what this motor sounds like. I mean, at least it has enough oil in it now. Well, I picked up my toolbox to put it away. Man, I love this little toolbox for travel, but this is its downfall right here. Well, I got her pretty much up to temp. We're about out of gas, but oil pressure's awesome. Let's see, uh, let's see what she sounds like. Well, listen to that. The rattle's basically gone now that it has oil. So uh, I got all the tools back in that box. Um, I think I'm gonna try to figure out if the stereo bot will fit in here before I run the backup cam and we'll go from there. So I ended up getting the same radio that I put in the Camaro. Um, I actually really like how it works. So I thought, why don't use it in here too? Um, the screen display does stick out some i'm a little concerned if it's going to clear the gear shift or not so that's actually why i'm not installing the review camera yet i wanted to see if this is just going to clear if it clears we'll move on from there um, i don't think running that review camera is going to be a big deal unless the cable that goes to the back isn't long enough we'll see what that is but we'll have to check on that as we go so uh, let's unbox it Oh, it's all taped up. Let me take this apart and see if I can get this radio out of there. Then we'll unbox that and go from there. Let's open this thing up. We might be all right. All right, so this is like a universal thing for a Dodge. I got to cut this, whoops, and this tab off. Um, yeah, this tab, this tab, and this one on the side off. And then these X braces, I'm going to have to cut them out. And this uh, pocket right here is meant, uh, it, it's just to take up space. I don't know what on earth you would slide in there, maybe a cell phone. Uh but I'm going to drill a hole in the back of it and we're going to run the auxiliary cord out. So uh, I'm going to run inside and trim all this up right quick and drill a hole in it and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so I was right. This does hook up to the reverse signal. Um, you can use the one that comes off the brake light switch, but I'm not going to use that one. I'm actually going to use it from the one of the brake lights in the back. The other side of this wire, you just hook it into that. It's uh, I'll show you. It's super easy, but this right here, um, I don't have anything up here to hook it to right now. So I, 
I personally like it hooked up to one uh, reverse light and not to the reverse light switch uh, that's on the column. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, see about getting all this kind of fixed back up and together. And hopefully we can get it stuffed back in here and see how it works. I, I'm excited to finally maybe wrap this up. This I've had this thing for a long time. It's just been sitting around. But anyways, uh, I'll let you know when I find something. So I always order a an actual kit for the vehicle because I don't like cutting vehicle wires for this. Um, this particular brand uh, I bought on Amazon uh, for the harness. And it comes with all the butt connectors already on it. That's kind of sweet. So I'm actually going to go ahead and pre-wire all this. And uh, we'll see if we can get this dude to power up or not. The old radio didn't work. So I didn't even check to see if it has power. It may have a bad fuse or whatever. But we'll throw this in there. Um, and I'll show you if it powers up or not. Hopefully it'll power right up. And we can wrap this up. And this will be the easiest install I've done for a radio in my life. All right. So I got everything kind of plugged in. Um, thought we'd turn it on together and see if she'll power up. Let me throw the key in the ignition and see what happens here. Oh, it's powering on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. So this is a pretty decent unit. I really like the one I already have. However, it is a little slow to first start up, but... Other than that, it's pretty quick. So, I don't have anything hooked up. I don't have a radio or anything, but I just thought I'd uh, just see what, if any of the speakers or anything worked. Of course, the antenna isn't hooked up or anything, but the radio is working. I can hear it beeping through the uh, one speaker that might be hooked up. <laughs> I have a feeling this thing's not going to be a big bumping system. Uh, we may work on that later. I do like a nice radio. So, anyways, I'm going to run this all through the uh, harness or the harness and everything through that bracket. Get the bracket in. Get all this mounted, and let's see if the gear shift will clear this radio. Well, I got it all back in there. I still got the screen protector on this. Whatever. That doesn't matter. Um, it does fit. Actually, fits pretty good, but I'm not sure if it's going to clear uh, this when I pull it down. So let's see what it looks like in drive. Well, I believe it might be all right. I don't think I can adjust that up. I'm, if I can adjust this radio up, I will. It does have some adjustments, so. Oh, my one speaker's working. Yeah. So, um, let me look at that. If I can adjust this up, I will. But um, that's, that's pretty awesome. It doesn't block your view when you're driving or anything. So, I don't know. I may just leave it. It does touch, though. So that might get annoying. See, um, if I get it to go up even a little bit, that'd be perfect. And I'll, I may just shim. I'll figure it out. I'll figure something out. That's nothing at this point. So I'm really happy with this. So the only thing left would be to hook up the rear view camera. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, that's a later sort of deal. This thing does sound so much better. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I believe we're winning here. Well, thanks for watching. Um, we've changed the oil now that it has enough. That rattle's basically gone, which is perfect. So this thing's pretty well ready to go. The Atoto F7 that I've put in the radio, um, I, I was happy with it even in the other car, so I'm, I'm going to be happy with it in here, I'm sure. Uh, you can actually pair this to your Android or Apple device and it'll mirror the screen. So it's awesome to run navigation and stuff like that through without having to actually have a navigation system. This is a very affordable head unit. 
So that's why I use it. It's just so affordable and it runs pretty well. I've seen better, but I've seen much worse. So anyways, like I said, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, hit the like button if you would, please. And uh, if you've not subscribed already, I'd appreciate it if you consider it. Anyways, I'm going to get back after it and figure out what the next project's going to be. Till next time.